Thank you, Chief, for coming out as we venture into this next episode of our lives. From our academic beginnings, as we roam the halls of Walnut Hill and Bowers Elementary, to our time at Harriman Middle School, up until today as we become alumni of Harriman High. We have been truly blessed with great teachers and staff, as well as families that have helped, guided, and encouraged us along the way. You have truly molded us into the men and women that we have become. Our debt of gratitude can only be paid by waves of success that we will make in the years to come. I was very nervous the first day of school. I was afraid of getting lost in this building. In retrospect, I don't really know why. There's only two hallways back there. I can't believe it's been four years already, but now, here we are. In the weeks and months to come, we will set out on new beginnings. Some of us will begin college this fall. Some will serve our country in the military, and others will go straight into the workforce. We will make more money in the years to come. We will begin families. We will buy our dream cars and homes. In our jobs, we will climb ladders of corporate success, and we will do what we can to achieve the American dream. But I stand before you today to let you know, to warn you, to sound the alarm, that none of this really matters by itself. The dreams you achieve, the successes you have in this world, all the money that you make, it does not matter. Your life will not matter. None of it really matters if you do not place your life in the right hands. A basketball in my hands is worth about $19. A basketball in Michael Jordan's hand is worth about $33 million. It depends whose hands it's in. A baseball in my hands is worth about $4. A baseball in Derek Jeter's hands is worth $19 million. It depends whose hands it's in. A tennis racket is useless in my hands. A tennis racket in Pete Sampras's hands is a Wimbledon championship. It depends whose hands it's in. A rod in my hands will keep away a wild animal. A rod in Moses' hands will part the mighty sea. It depends whose hands it's in. A slingshot in my hands is a kid's toy. A slingshot in David's hands is a mighty weapon. It depends whose hands it's in. Two fish and five loaves of bread in my hands is a couple of fish sandwiches. Two fish and five loaves of bread in Jesus' hands will feed thousands. It depends whose hands it's in. Nails in my hands might produce a birdhouse. Nails in Jesus Christ's hands will produce salvation for the entire world. It depends whose hands it's in. As you see now, it depends whose hands it's in. So put your concerns, your worries, your fears, your hopes, Place your dreams, your families, and all your relationships in Christ's hands because it depends whose hands it's in. The truth of the matter is, many will go up throughout their life and come to the end having never given much thought to what comes next. I don't mean where you're going for lunch today, or what to go, or what to do on vacation this year, or what to buy for Christmas. I'm speaking of the day we stand before the Lord, Jesus Christ. There's no certain way to predict when that will be, there, on the day you stand before Him, it doesn't matter how great your personality is, how popular you are, or what you've accomplished in life, like being a valedictorian or any other position in your class, the only thing that matters is, is that you've accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior who paid for your sins. Because this life is short, it is only for a moment. As 2 Corinthians 4 says, For this lot momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. So I'll end on this question, whose hands do you place your life in? Thank you.